Hey guys, Brock here, Certified Wim Hof Method Instructor. Can the Wim Hof Method help someone stop smoking weed? Can it help them get off of cannabis or any other substance that they may want to get off of? Um, the short answer is yes, and I want to talk about this a little bit today, and I want to share my own personal journey with you guys or whoever may be watching, whoever is typed in the search thing, can the Wim Hof Method help me stop smoking weed? It's a question that comes up a lot that I've heard from people over the years in doing the workshops and in sharing the method. So uh, before I share my own opinion, I wanna just let you guys know this is only my opinion. Uh, I'm not representing the official opinion of Inner Fire or Wim Hof himself. This is just me, Brock Cannon, a dude that practices the Wim Hof method religiously every single day and also teaches other people uh, in workshops and stuff. So for me personally, you guys, um, several years back before I really found the Wim Hof method, I was consuming a ton of cannabis. Uh, residing in California at the time I had a medical marijuana card I was able to grow my own plants and I would make my own cannabis oil and every single morning I would pour approximately 50 milligrams uh, worth of cannabis oil in my coffee and uh, just boom start the day and uh, you know for me you guys it got to the point where cannabis just wasn't something to be enjoyed now and then I was actually using it more as an escape mechanism. And um, for the record as well, I have no problem with anyone who chooses to consume cannabis. So obviously, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I've enjoyed it plenty of times over the years. I think it's an amazing plant that has so many benefits. And, and frankly, given the choice between a hard pharmaceutical that is highly addictive uh, or cannabis, I would take the cannabis every single time. And I would also advocate that anyone uh, you know, considers that before trying a hard pharmaceutical. Also, guys, I'm not here to give medical advice. So before you start the Wim Hof Method or consider changing up any pharmaceuticals, always consult your doctor, of course. So just going back to my personal journey, you know, it got to the point where I was actually using it as an escape, like I mentioned. And I think I have a lot of people um, that have felt the same way over the years that kind of come to me and say, hey man, uh, it's usually the guys, but you know, certainly can be the ladies as well. They're like, I'm smoking a lot of weed. You know, I'm dealing with a lot of stress right now. Uh, I've got problems at home. I've got problems at my work. And I'm just, I'm smoking too much weed. And I want to scale it back. Can the Wim Hof Method help me? So my experience is that yes, it absolutely can. And for me, uh, I actually kind of jumped into the method, <laughs> pun intended, uh, the opposite way of most people. I jumped into the cold water first and just found so many benefits. I felt so alive from that and uh, helped me with my anxiety, with my depression, with a lot of uh, you know just dark thoughts and stress that I was dealing with at that time. And then after uh, a short, maybe month or so, I was then introduced to the breathing techniques and that blew my mind even more. And once I experienced the cold and the breathing together, I just felt so alive, I felt so connected to my own body, and I felt so good that I stopped cold turkey, cannabis, alcohol, and caffeine all at the same time, because I just felt so good. Um, you know, I, I felt more energized after four rounds of the breathing than I did, uh, you know, consuming 20 plus ounces of coffee. I felt so good. Um, and same for, you know, cannabis. I just didn't feel... Like I needed that and I could do the breathing. I could control my own high on demand anytime I wanted and it was free and it just seemed like a better deal to me. So personally, just like Wim, I just nowadays, I like to just get high on my own supply. I haven't consumed cannabis in over two years, I think now it is. So that's just me. I don't have a problem with it. But if you're someone that's looking to scale back or stop taking it, uh, yes, the Wim Hof Method can help. So you're going to want to do the breathing, you know, maybe four rounds in the morning to charge yourself up and just set yourself up for success for the day. You know, you're going to feel so good when you do the breathing during the day, but it's often in the latter part of the day, the afternoon, when you start to get tired, you start to get stressed and you want to, you know, smoke that joint or suck on that vape or take that edible to escape. That's when you can really go in and do the breathing again. You know, and if you're working, 
you know, go to your car. People take smoke breaks, go take a 15 minute breathing break instead, you know, and just charge yourself back up, center yourself again, because every time you do the breathing, you come back into the body, you come back into the self, and you're able to think more clearly. So that's what I recommend to anyone that wants to scale back is do the breathing as often as you need it. And if you're feeling, you know, those cravings or those those urges to escape and take cannabis a lot, try to start replacing it with the breathing. And hey, it might not be perfect in the beginning, and that's okay. Be gentle with yourself as you try to scale back and transition out. But if you guys have any experience uh, with using the Wim Hof breathing or the method itself to scale back from cannabis, put it in the comments below. I would love to hear your own personal journey. And um, again, you know, it's not a, a cure-all and there's no problem with cannabis in my opinion. It's just if you're using it too much to escape and you wanna, you know, control how you feel through your own breath, through your own breathing, the Wim Hof Method may be uh, an incredible alternative for someone out there that's looking for that. So thank you guys for letting me share my personal journey with you. I hope this video has been helpful. Like it and share it if it has been, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, and I, I forgot to mention how appropriate that I'm wearing my Smokey the Bear shirt. Have a good one, you guys.